open up your regular JPay account and then using your email login and password log in to JPay just like you've been doing all along. Then when your loved one appears, if there's no change, you'll continue on in JPay just like you always have after you set it up. If there is a change, a pop-up will appear. And it reads, JPay email is now e-messaging and only available through Securus Technologies, the parent company of JPay. Learn more and enroll. Click on that. A new window opens up. So you go up to Securus Friends and Family, and then it asks for your JPay email address. And this is the same one that you use when you log into your JPay account. There's nothing different here. Now what JPay does is it recognizes your email address. And so since it recognized that you had a email address under JPay when the Securus account opens up, then you log in just like you're logging in to JPay. Okay, now it says success. Your account has been created and linked. Sign in and launch e-messaging to get started. So you go ahead, click on sign in, and this is where you type in your email address from JPay, which is now your Securus email login. Okay, and then you read over your, your conditions. And it's very straightforward. Just make sure that you truly do read through them and you truly do accept it. And then you see your information passes over, password. Now, this one doesn't have a pin yet, so you definitely want to make sure you have a pin set up when you log into your account. Because if you have any issues, you want to go back to uh, Securus and ask for some ask questions and stuff. They're going to ask for that pin. You want to go up to your settings, click on that, then go down to the four digit passcode and you'll have to click on the little edit button there. Type in your passcode. And then go ahead and select save. And remember that passcode. This is what shows up on the mobile app screen. You click the screen at the bottom and then it pops up just like it does on the desktop. You type in your JPay and now Securus email. And then you continue just like you did on the desktop and you finish your completion of your registration for Securus and all your information should pass over 
on the app just like it does on the desktop and your cell phone.